and never smile at a crocodile. Well, correctly, it would be see you later, alligator. And well, it's in a while, so now we have the crocodile. Now, I'm trying to check if they are. He's going to terrorize the terrapins. I find it such fascinating behavior. So when Rusty broke down with Jamie the other morning uh, to come out and rescue after driving that, and uh, on my way back after we had fixed Rusty, and I was coming back, and I noticed some Inyala drinking, and that crocodile popped up about 10 centimeters from those Inyala as they turned away and as they just made enough distance. So one of these days I've almost been quite tempted to come uh, sit here during the day with a good book or with my computer, do do some work and wait for the crocodile to catch something. I think it's going to be quite soon that we will see uh, a carcass floating in this in this pan and, and the really interesting thing is that that new hyena den is very close. It wouldn't be amazing to see a battle between a crocodile and hyenas over whatever the crocodile might have caught. Now, I don't think the hyenas are going to battle him for what he's hunting for at the moment. Which is little terrapins. Now, this is what one of the things that makes these such amazing creatures and, and, and they can survive. I mean, he's, he's learnt. And from a reptile point of view, crocodiles are one of the only reptiles that can learn. And that's why if you if you are living in the bush or and drawing water from rivers, you never collect water for too long or in the same place or bathe in the same place or wash clothes in the same place. It might take the crocodile a month or two or three even. But if you keep coming down on the same spot, eventually the crocs are going to work it out and they'll grab you. Now, uh, James has posed a very interesting question. Would any animals alarm at a crocodile? Uh, I have seen animals alarm at a crocodile, but not that often. They, they do have absolutely amazing eyesight as well. As, and they can see quite a long distance. Now, when they go underwater, they've got a nectating membrane that protects their eye. So even in dirty water like this, Oh, there we go. Has he, has he got one? Oh, he missed. Uh, even in dirty water like this, they can hunt. And what they do, they've got these tiny little black spots all over their nose and face called ciliary organs. And that picks up vibrations from about 30 or 40 centimeters away from them. And they'll just snap in that direction. So they're able to catch fish and, and other things under the water, even without being able to see. Now, strangely enough, a lot of people consider crocodiles to be, what, 40 or 50 million years old, um, or like live living dinosaurs, which is not quite true. So crocodilians have been around for, for actually hundreds, hundreds, of, hundreds of millions of years, uh, but now crocodiles in their current form from fossil records we, we have found have been in this exact form for about 8 million years. So no, not quite as long as that quite often uh, fact that's bantered about that they've been the same for 120 million years. They've only been the same for 8 million years, you know, just, just 8, not 120, blink of the eye and all that. And the fact that they haven't changed in 8 million years is, is testament to what incredible predators they are. Now Debbie's wondering, are there fish in this water? Uh, there might be, but um, they might have just arrived. There might be quite a lot of small fish that might have come on the, the waders, the wading bird's legs, but I would say not enough fish to sustain uh, this crocodile. I almost think he needs a name. What do you think he looks like, Craig? Mm, oh, no, I reckon he looks like a Boris. <laughs> Boris the crocodile. Hey, Boris. Boris! 
What do you guys think? Boris, a good name for a crocodile? Hashtag safari live. Questions at wildearth.tv.